This is Mike Dunn, wine columnist for the SACB.com, reporting from Fort Mason in San Francisco, the site of the 17th annual Zinfandel Festival, sponsored by Zinfandel Advocates and Producers. We've just been talking with several winemakers about the phrase, Old Vine Zinfandel. All right, when it comes to Old Vines, um, Old Vine Zinfandels, what does that term mean? <laughs> There isn't, a, there isn't any legal uh, concept or definition for it. So what I, what I feel is that if you're going to label a, a, a vine, old vine, you should qualify it in your, in your uh, spec sheets or whatever, which means tell people how old the vineyard is. And I think the biggest difference between old vines in and young vines in is, is really the root zone. You know, say this glass here, say this, this upper part here, from the zap above is, is ground level, and the uh, and the plants up here, and this, the first six layers, six feet of soil, is what produces most of your zinny zim characters, your briary characters, and then when you go down deeper, you pick up other other layers of soil that give the wine more dimensions. So an old vine Zinfandel, which is, you know, in the old vineyard 1869. Those root, we've dug down with a backhoe and we've gone down 25 feet and still found the roots. And uh, each layer of soil gives the wine another complexity. So an old vine zin is a multi-dimensional wine, where a young vine zin is more one-dimensional. And I, I, I call that more of a first growth quality. It's meant as a minimum vines that are 50 years old. and. Many of our vineyards, or I shouldn't say many, a number of our vineyards are between 100 and 120 years old. So for us, it really means something that survived prohibition, which does go back more than 80 or whatever years. Uh, for a lot of other people, since there's no definition, if they have a really young vineyard, six, seven years old, and they have something that's a little older, 15, 20, those are old vines. And so there is no official definition. I, I certainly hope that people pick something that's at least above 35 or 50 for a cutoff point. If, if a wine has greater complexity, uh, more nuances, not just wonderful upfront Zinfandel fruit, which is an essential ingredient, but beyond that has, has layers of complexity, then that is something that I expect in, in something that is truly old vine fruit or has as part of the blend old vine blocks involved in the, in the bottling. What does old vine mean? Interesting loaded question, mostly because there is no legal definition. It has not been regulated by the TTB. So old vine means something different to everyone. Um, interestingly, with my project, I'm exploring what vine age means. So I make three different wines, one called 10-year-old, 50-year-old, and 100-year-old vines. And it's looking at exactly what happens to a vineyard as it ages. It's looking, important to me, importantly to me, at the context in which the vines were grown. So I think when people say old vine, they're really looking at the, the history of that vineyard, how it was cultivated, maybe the style in which the grapes are grown, not necessarily a definitive age. Old vine and ancient vine and all that kind of stuff can mean whatever anybody wants to put on it and whatever, you know, which is which is why we don't we don't even put anything on it. I mean it, So you don't use the term old vine or there any variation thereof because you basically feel it's meaningless. Oh I it's if there are so many people who lie about it that it, whatever. I mean, just the the it's the term doesn't 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 mean anything anymore. Um, old vine, old vine is kind of like reserve. You know, it's it it refers more to a style rather than to you know some cut and dried linear definition. You know, I, well, you know for us, uh, first of all, Zinfandel from the Lodi area. Uh, gives a very, very distinctive property, and uh, certainly Zinfandels that come from older vines give an, an excellent quality to Zinfandel wine. And what we're looking to do is produce uh, a certain wine for a certain brand that focus strictly on old vines, and it just so happens that the old vines from which we harvest our grapes are 35 to 80 years old, and there's many, many vineyard blocks 
uh, from which we make that selection. Because I think the word old vines has become a little bit generic. I mean, I think the, the, the reason we call this one wine old vines is more of the style. We're trying to duplicate that style. And I think people have abused the, the term old vines because it doesn't mean that there's no legal meaning of it. It doesn't mean it has to be 25 or 35 or 65 years old. It could be older than your oldest daughter or there's, there's no rhyme or reason for it. Well, ovine is a, uh, a cosmetic term on labels. It has no legal meaning and it does mean something to consumers uh, and the industry, but it's quite confusing. Well, consumers uh, look at ovine on label. I believe they see ovine as a uh, indication that the vines are, have matured beyond normal maturity and have character beyond just average character. So they are thinking that the wines are more character to them. This is Mike Dunn, wine columnist for SACB.com. That wraps up our visit today at the 17th annual Zinfandel Festival in San Francisco. We've been talking with vintners about the significance of the common label designation, Old Vine Zinfandel. And you can